Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. How you doing, Mr. Ridley? Oh, hi. Hey, good, Dave Ridley. Really, good to meet you. Hi. Hey, uh, the uh, property owner, this is a private event. Okay. And he wants you to leave the property. All right, so that's me getting pretty ceremoniously ejected from a Donald Trump event. I don't like him. You shouldn't like him. But... Even I have to admit, I had a huge sense of relief when he won instead of that Russia nuking old lady. Uh, wannabe Russia nuking, I should probably say. And as the months have gone by, despite all the bad things he's done, I think I was, I still feel vindicated in that feeling. I didn't vote for him, I voted for Daryl Perry. I'd never want either of those two main candidates to be on, on my conscience. But as the thing keeps on developing, I think Mark Edge had it right when he said Donald Trump will be a disruptive force and uh, th that this would be mostly a good thing. Uh, the disruptive part, not, the, not, the, not Trump. Trump would not be mostly good, and he's not. But he represents something that is just slightly outside the approved parameters set by this apparent shadow government that apparently really does exist. You know, if they wanted to, they could just manipulate him and get all kinds of things done, and they, they probably will. But the fact that he's getting so much opposition from the establishment means several things. First of all, it means that there's some degree of gridlock between him and the establishment, Gridlock's the least bad thing that ever happens to America from its government. Now, the other good thing is that it, it sort of exposes the underbelly of, of uh, American governance, uh, both in the sense that he acts a little bit like an underbelly, but also in the sense that the, the CIA has had to expose itself to a point. I mean, I didn't know whether to believe many of the things I heard about the CIA until I heard them come out and sort of do it to Trump. Like, have you ever, had you ever seen the CIA so openly uh, take a, a issue with a sitting president, uh, other than maybe the one they killed, if they killed him? It's also fun to see people just losing their minds uh, in hatred against at least some part of the government. I mean, as long as they're not hurting anybody, it's not bad for the people to be against their government. Again, it's a little bit of gridlock. It's, the, it's as good as it gets in the United States. The worst that it gets in the United States is October 2001, where everybody likes the president. Now, that's dangerous. Ask the million dead Iraqis, or oh, whatever the number was. I think it was a million. But anyway... I sometimes think of uh, Donald Trump as being a little bit like Salvador Allende or what was that guy in Mexico? Uh, Vicente Fox or the or the uh, what was that party in Japan that briefly held power, you know, just for a few years and then was thrown back. And it's been mostly one party rule from most of Japan's post post World War II history. There just has to be sometimes um, a change in, the, in in who's in power. And going from Democrats to Republicans doesn't cut it. There needs to be something like Mark Edge called it, disruptive. So I guess what I hope is that Donald Trump will have a crippled presidency, but that it will not be one that just ends a year from now. Uh, we need him around. We need Nixon to kick around anymore, right? <laughs> it's like Nick Nixon used to say, we need Trump for that purpose. To make the federal government bleed credibility to be like what I call a Jovian atmosphere. That is, there's this concept that uh, the Jovian atmosphere is more survivable than I guess, the Neptunian atmosphere or the Uranian atmosphere. I forget which one. Let's just say it's Neptune. I think they're both ice giants. I think they say that the winds on Neptune get up to 1,000 miles an hour, but they only get up to about... 300 miles an hour, supposedly, on Jupiter. So the, 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 the thing about this is that there's so much turbulence on Jupiter, because it's hot, um, that this is uh, why the winds are so much slower. So if you have a lack of disruption, that can create a more destructive force, like the ones you have on Neptune or Uranus.
Oh, and what's one last benefit? The, the, the fact that so many government agencies are levying criticisms against Trump, which often raise the question, well, why, can't, why aren't they raising them those criticisms against themselves? Because they do those things. And the final benefit, CalExit. I'm so glad to have the CalExit folks around. And if you're one of them, thank you for whatever you're doing, I think. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have a proper uh, Confederate history-free independence movement in the United States if it weren't for you guys. And if it weren't for Trump, we wouldn't have you guys. Oh, and if you're wondering who Salvador Allende was, he was briefly president of Chile, and the CIA backed coup wound up in him being thrown out. I think he was assassinated. I don't remember, but another you know three or what is it three or four thousand people, uh, communists uh, you know and suspected communists were uh, slaughtered by the uh, military dictatorship and all that. So but anyway, the, the I, I always think of Trump as being similar to to Allende. He's just sort of not CIA approved, so we have to worry for his safety. And much more importantly, the safety of all the other people who would be harmed if uh, if the CIA were to pull a Salvador Allende on Trump. Right now, it looks like they're just trying to do that in the media, which is, I guess, less bad. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.